turning out a little bit different than I thought because I originally intended to make it a vlog, but being the terrible vlogger that I am, I forgot to record any audio on the video that I took. So all of that B-roll is at the beginning. I hope you guys enjoyed that already because that's it. There's, uh, there's no more because I'm a, a bad vlogger, I'm sorry. But I want to talk about all the things that I bought because this is unprecedented. I went into Anime NYC thinking that I wasn't gonna buy anything because I am so good at not spending my money. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you guys can laugh at me, but really, I, I don't like to keep a lot of physical things because I don't have any, I don't have any space for it. So I thought it was gonna be good. When I showed up at home three days later, $500 poorer, Things didn't go to plan, but the things that I bought are possibly like the best fan art and just merch that I have ever seen, ever. The very first thing that I'm going to show you is actually the last thing that I bought because you know me, I'm always on my soapbox saying Miko isn't my favorite character, it's actually Kaching. So when I showed up on the last day and didn't have anything to show for Kaching, well, that was kind of an issue. And uh, I need to buy something to prove that I do love her and she is my favorite character, despite what all of the other merchandise may say. So the very first thing is going to be these keychains. It was actually a buy three, and I think we ended up getting Yelan, but we gave that one to Poppy. So here's my Keck one. It's adorable, I love her, I think it's great. I was really looking for something that was true to the art style in the game, but also had its own, you know, artistic flair. The other one is Yoimiya, which I don't really talk about Yoimiya that much because I don't play her and I really have nothing to say about her, but I do like her, I don't really like her. But as soon as I saw this keychain, the colors on it, the blue, the way that the blue just contrasted with everything, the sunny, the sunny warm colors, it just spoke to me on a different level, and I knew that I needed it immediately. It, it was one of those moments where the lower the expectations you go in, the more you can be surprised. I'm not saying I went in with low expectations for the artist, but I'm saying I went in with low expectations for Yoimiya. So when I saw Yoimiya in an amazing art style, I knew I had to have that. And that is all from Sayoran Arts. Their info will all be linked down in the description, as with everybody else. In the same vein where I was saying, when you have low expectations, you can only be impressed. And this has in so many ways come true when it comes to Ito. I hated Ito when he was dripped and I didn't know anything about him. I thought he was gonna be awful. And like slowly, it's taken a long time now, but he has slowly become a character that I actually kind of enjoy. I. I don't, I don't simp for him, but I saw this pin and this pin definitely had a hand in the short that I made about Max Middleman and how I feel about Ito now because as soon as I walked up to this artist booth, I was amazed by the quality of pins that they had. They were the most detailed pins I have ever seen in my entire life. So they had Ito and Goro and I will admit that I like Ito more than I like Goro. So I got this pin. And please take a look at the quality of this pin. It cost me $50, and it is the pin that I talked about in the short. But as soon as I saw this, I've never seen anything else like it. It is so detailed, so amazing. I didn't buy it originally the first day because I didn't think that I liked Ito that much. I went home and slept on it, and the next day ran straight back to that booth and bought it. Because you can't see craftsmanship like this and not buy it. And that is from Graph Fox. You need these pins. You need to see these pins. If you don't see these pins, you haven't lived. The next thing I got is a practical item. And it kind of is the reason that I felt bad that I didn't buy anything ka-ching because I spent so much money, so much money on Miko. And I got this sweater from Emmy and it is adorable. If you put anything with Miko's fox form on it, I will buy it. Okay, I shouldn't have said that because now people are gonna send me things. I might buy it. So anyway, this sweater has details on the sleeve, which I love, this detail, amazing. Sleeve detail, ugh, so good. And the other part that I had to get is because it has the sacred sakura on the back. And if you've been to any of my streams, you know that I use the sacred sakura as my starting stream window is just special to me. Next up is something that I've actually already made a short on and it's Genshin's art book, which is in Chinese to be clear. Apparently this costs like 
it's very cheap in China, even in USD. And it was also released in France for like $35 and translated into French, but it wasn't translated into English as far as I can tell. So I bought this, it was saran wrapped. I couldn't tell if it was going to be entirely in Chinese or what it was going to be. I opened it up and prayed that it was going to be good. And if you've seen the short, you already know this book is amazing. So it has a lot of art that was already released, you know, on Twitter, but having it as a coffee table book, and now I'm just collecting, you know, Genshin books as something that I'll get to later. Also, they put Ganching on the same, you know, the same spread. And I also think that they put, yeah, they also put chili on the same spread. I know these came out, I know these came out together, so we've already had our, like, our fandom simping moments, but the fact that they're on the same spread is just, is just beautiful. And really the only parts that are in Chinese are going to be the character descriptions, which is all information that is, you know, in the game. So you're not really missing anything. It's not like super extra talking about the art, like the specific art details. But this book, definitely, definitely good. I think the thing that I was most happy about was that it was not entirely in Chinese. Even though I was ready to sit down, use Google Translate and, you know, read the whole book. Um, I don't have to do that though. So if you're looking for a coffee table book, I recommend this. It's $70, I think, on the US, the US store, the one that's unaffiliated with Hoyoverse, but easier to obtain in the US. Inside of it comes with this like cardboard. So it's like a stiff, a stiff cardboard print of child who is wearing his Fatui outfit, always looking snazzy. And I think this book came out in 20, well, it has a 2020 copyright date. So I think that they added like a special part for the anniversary, but it was originally released maybe with the game. I, I shouldn't say anything because I actually have no idea, but it has a copyright of 2020. So this, print was either added after the Fatui trailer came out or before and, and whoever had the book was special. I don't know. I don't, also don't know what I'm going to do with this because I, I don't like child that much, but it, it looks nice and it's uh, of, of nice quality. So there's that. It also came with, you know, just one of their postcards that they give out. So this is like uh, all of the archons, which we've seen before. So this is nice. These were, these were in the book. All right. And the reason that I didn't make this video early was actually because I was waiting for something in the mail. And it's kind of an ironic story because I went to this booth on the very first day, but we kind of decided that we we're gonna walk all the way around the artist alley just to like get a feel for all the booths and then come back the next day and buy all the things that we want to buy. So I went to this booth, saw this art, was absolutely like floored by it, knew that I want to get it, didn't get it on the first day, came back on the second day and the print size that I wanted was sold out. So I ordered it online and it was actually better because that way I didn't have to bring prints home, which was really something I did not want to do. This is the package and I'm super excited because it's not even opened yet. This is the first time that I'll ever be seeing the art book as well as the print that size that I wanted. I've seen the prints, I've seen the prints that I got. And um, I have to say there is one character print that I got that I've expressed multiple times that I don't actually like. Like, I don't... I don't hate this character, but she's definitely not my first, second, third, or 20th choice. So, let's open this, and I'll show you guys what I got. All right, and of course the print that was sold out was going to be our best girl, Miko. So, no compromise on that one. I needed to get the large size print of her. That is why I had to order it online. I couldn't, you know settle for somebody else because it had to be Miko and I am in love with this print. So the idea behind getting these prints because prints are definitely something that I don't have space for. So the original idea was to put frame, frame because they're all in the same, it's the same artist so they're all in the same style which is beautiful. Um, put them behind the green screen. So anytime I take down the green screen you'd be able to see like three prints hung up and it would be a nice backdrop. Problem is, since since I've had that idea, I've gotten a bigger green screen, which you can see it like extends all the way to the sides of the room. It's actually wrapped around the room because the green screen is ginormous and it's taped to the floor. So taking it down isn't exactly something that's gonna happen. So I'm gonna have to find new places for these, but I'm still going to frame them and I'm going to hang them somewhere. The next one I got because it has beautiful composition. It is one of the most beautifully compositioned arts that I've ever seen. It also came on like these little 
keychain things, and it looked beautiful on the keychain as well. This character I do like. Don't talk about... Well, actually, I do talk about her quite frequently, but I like her playstyle more than I like her character. But are you ready for this? Look at the design on this Kokomi. It is insane. She pulled a whole Ariel, like, coming out of the sea. And, and in the scene where Ariel holds the fish, she holds the fish and she's like coming out of the water like the mermaid princess that she is. Oh my gosh, I love this. I love this print. I love the composition of it. Look at this like, oh my gosh, the fish and this bubble in the foreground. It's so good. I also just love that she's holding this fish. This is another one that I got for composition, but it's just so epic. Like it gives me such a, sh like a shiver because it's just so epic. And the character that I don't like is Sara. <laughs> I think she's incredibly boring. I also think that she's kind of dumb, but she's like a little, a little uh, guard dog for the Raiden Shogun. But look, look at how epic she looks in this picture. It is insane to me. It is insane to me. Also having the color scheme of the purple, Purple, blue, and pink between Miko, Kokomi, and Sara is going to be beautiful on the wall because aesthetically pleasing. So Sara is a character that I knew I had to get upon seeing this print, even though I don't like her, which is kind of been a theme around here. Me buying art that's just amazing about characters that I don't actually care about. So uh, maybe this is a new leaf for me. Uh, to, to start liking Sara. I really just want to use her for C6, but I don't have her at C6, surprisingly, because she only shows up on Raiden's banner, which I, I don't need any more Raiden. So these are all from Mako House. These are prints from Mako House. I talked to her at the convention and she was so, so sweet. Oh my gosh, what, the, what a beautiful human being. I love your art. Thank you for sharing this with us. But there's actually more. All right, so this is the more. There's just something about being able to meet the artists in person and knowing that, like what, what you're getting is supporting them directly. So this is Mako House's art book. It is absolutely beautiful. And I'm saying that without having opened it yet, <laughs> which is kind of, kind of an interesting thing. Um, I saw it on display at her booth and it was, it was beautiful, but it comes with both ink prints and the colored version. So of course the page that I just opened to is Sara. Um, and it's kind of like a consolation for getting all of the prints without having to buy all of the prints because all the prints for the characters are in this book and I get to look at all of them for the rest of eternity without, you know, having to have space on my wall to hang them all up and getting frames for all of them. So I am super, super excited for this book and having having talked to the artist is just like something that is so special because you know that they put they put so much time into this and i have no regrets spending you know as much money as it does to buy to buy art books like this because i know it's extremely expensive also because this is this is a hardcover book genshin's genshin's official art book isn't even a hardcover book so this is this is amazing and i and i have a small collection of Genshin books now, um, two of which are from one convention. So maybe, maybe it's gonna be a problem. I don't, I have like a special talent for just opening to the pages that have the characters that I already bought on. Here's some other stuff, like some sketches and stuff. I'm not gonna show you guys too much because you have to buy the book, but it, it, it feels so nice. It's like a perfect matte finish. And I think this, I think this might be my favorite purchase from Anime NYC just as a whole. It was, such, it was such a nice experience that I don't mind having waited for it in the mail. If anything, if anything, I will be looking through all of this tonight. I'll be busy. <laughs> so maybe this video will come out a lot, a lot later than when I recorded it because I will be very busy. And if you're still here, I guess you deserve something special. So let me go get it. I made so many good purchases and some of them were uh, a little bit questionable. I'm just gonna, you know, put my hand here because we're not trying to get demonetized here. But, you know, uh, underboob happens sometimes. So, you know, no shade, no shade. Underboob happens, not, not demonetized. I sleep with it every night. Don't be weird.
it's it's nice it's very soft and and i need a pillow to sleep on so uh yeah that that's it that's it for the video bye